Eva Longoria, Lashana Lynch and Julianne Moore led the glamour as they attended the screening of Final Cut, Coupé, amid the opening ceremony of Cannes Film Festival 2022. The Desperate Housewives star, 47, looked sensational in a plunging, semi-sheer black gown as she glided across the very first red carpet at the 75th annual event held at the Festival Palace, or Palais Day Festivals on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Lashana cut an ethereal figure in an angelic white dress, while Julianne Moore used elegance in a plunging, black satin gown. Eva was sure to steal the show in her sweeping gown which featured a semi-sheer ruffled skirt, sequins and thin spaghetti straps. The star teamed the number with a black and diamond choker, while a pair of killer black heels were seen beneath her skirt. The beauty swept her raven locks into an elegant updo with loose tendrils framing her face, while she highlighted her features with a soft makeup palette. Joining her in the glamour stakes was no time to die actress Lashana, 34, who was the picture of beauty in her high-necked white Fendi couture gown which featured an intricate beaded pattern throughout. The actress added an array of jewelry to her look including dazzling diamond and emerald drop earrings as well as a sparkling ring and bracelet. Elsewhere, Hollywood legend Julianne, 61, captivated the red carpet as she donned a classic satin gown with a low neckline and drop waist. The Stilala star teamed her dress with a show-stopping diamond and emerald necklace with Julianne opting to forgo other accessories. Eva was one of the first to jet into the French resort for the annual event, having been seen standing on a balcony at the Martinez Hotel on the eve of the 75th annual Cannes Film Festival as she expressed her excitement at attending the event. The actress went braless in a figure-hugging silver dress which gathered at the front to create a unique texture. The garment featured a turtleneck and was sleeveless, leaving her arms and shoulders exposed to the warm evening air. She completed her look with a pair of strappy silver heels to add a few inches to her stature. Taking to her Instagram stories, the star posed for a picture on the balcony, catching the golden light as the sun set. Eva captioned her post. Hello my sweet can. After can was entirely cancelled in 2020 and held under strict health protocols in 2021, the red carpet returned in all its glamour on Tuesday night. Meanwhile, one of the first stars to walk the red carpet was Forrest Whitaker, the Oscar-winning star of The Last King of Scotland, who picked up the honorary Palm D or award at the opening ceremony. Forrest, 60, won an acting award at the festival back in 1988 for his role as jazz legend Charlie Parker in Clint Eastwood's Bird. There will also be an array of TikTok stars taking to the red carpet this year after organizers have sought to refresh their image by partnering with the video streaming platform, which is sponsoring an award for short films. And the film chosen to open the festival will be Final Cut, a comedy love letter to filmmaking and Z-list zombie movies from the team behind the award-winning The Artist. Its director Michelle Azanavicius said it was a joyous celebration of film people, which I hope will encourage others to get involved. The two-week annual event will also see hotly anticipated films Top Gun. Maverick and King of Rock and Roll biopic Elvis Shown. On Wednesday, Hollywood star Tom Cruise will arrive at the film festival for the first time in 30 years as his much delayed blockbuster sequel Top Gun Maverick gets its European premiere. The sequel, long delayed by the pandemic, has been getting warm reviews from critics and gives Ken a chance to honor Tom described by festival director Thierry Fermo as someone who is devoted to cinema.
a host of British stars including Letitia Wright, Joe Alwyn, Idris Elba, Tilda Swinton are also expected to attend this year's festivities. In total, some 35,000 film professionals are expected to attend the festival between May 17 and 28, hoping for a return to form for cinema's most glamorous event after two years when it was hampered by COVID-19 restrictions. We are ready. The town hall has just redone everything, the whole place, so we hope it will go well, said Jeremy Trippett, manager of La Venue, a bistro just off the main drag known as La Croisette. One major exception is the absence of Russians, due to the impact of sanctions over the war in Ukraine and a ruling from the organizers that state link delegates are not welcome. China is also expected to have a limited presence due to its continuing COVID restrictions. But otherwise the festival is keen to put the pandemic in the past, with no mandatory masks or health passes this year, and no restrictions to partying. Film fans can get stuck into the usual feast of new releases and competition entries, braving the festival's famously opinionated crowds who are never shy about cheering and booing during screenings. There's a lot of excitement around the Elvis Presley biopic from Australia's Bas Luhrmann, hoping to recreate the buzz he generated when he brought the can-can to can with Moulin Rouge. 20 years ago. Elvis, playing out of competition, sees newcomer Austin Butler stepping into the King's blue suede shoes. Tom Hanks plays his infamous manager, Colonel Tom Parker. There are 21 films in the race for the Palme d'Or, including the latest body horror fable from David Cronenberg, Crimes of the Future, starring Lee Sedu and Kristen Stewart. The Canadian director told IndieWire it is likely to cause walkouts within the first five minutes. There are only five women directors in the competition hoping to follow the success of last year's winner, Titan, which made Julia Duker now only the second female to win the bomb. Alongside all the glitz, festival director Thierry Fermo said can aim to keep the war in Ukraine in the spotlight. Together we will have a great festival, we will think a lot about cinema without ever stopping thinking about Ukraine. The final film by Lithuanian director Mantis Kvadaravasias, who was killed by Russian forces in Ukraine last month, will get a special screening. He was shooting a follow-up to his celebrated documentary Mariupolis, about the conflict in Ukraine's Donbas region, when he was reportedly captured and killed. The main competition also includes exiled Russian Kirill Surebrenikov who was unable to attend for his two previous nominations due to a politically charged conviction for embezzlement back home. Fromo said the festival wanted to lend a hand to the Russians who take risks to resist while offering absolute and non-negotiable support to the Ukrainian people. The jury charged with selecting the winners this year includes Indian superstar Deepika Padukone and Iran's two-time Oscar-winning director Asghar Farhadi, and is headed by French actor Vincent Linden.